get set for a combat drop. Dude, he's delivery on that. And we're set. Hello everyone, welcome in. My name is Kai Zamet. I'm a director, cinematographer and writer based in the South of the UK. And today in this video, we're going to be checking out all the cutscenes and in-game cinematics to Halo 3 ODST. And I'm going to break one of my rules today. And that rule is gameplay. I never ever cover gameplay on the channel, only ever cinematics and cutscenes. And the reason being, I've said this a few times now, is if I'm not playing the game myself, I find it a little bit boring. But I've listened to the feedback, I've heard your comments. You guys told me that if I ever check out Halo 3 ODST, I have to look at a little bit of the gameplay because it plays a major part in the overall theme or the vibe of the game. So that's what we're doing today. And the video comes from Gamers Little Playground. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box so you can check them out. But yeah, with all that said and done, let's go, shall we? Play the tape. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. The year is 2552. Oh, that's a covenant. Yep, we know that much. I really like the, um, I really like the music. New Mombasa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember New Mombasa. Yep, this is all coming back to me now. From Halo 3. Oh, right, yes, because... Now military leaders of the United Nations space. Come on. Because as the ship leaves, with the chief going with them, these are coming down, right? I remember... Yeah. I remember parts of this. Yeah. Of the best. I love that a near suicidal. What I was saying about the music, oh, that's a really nice transition. That's gorgeous, that was. What I liked about the music, it was delicate. It wasn't like the normal Halo oomph. By the way, I'm watching this is the PC version 4K, and it's fight. gorgeous. Look at this. Of course they did. It's Earth. Better late than never. How about you show some respect, Romeo? Just saying, Dutch. They missed one. No. They left it for us. You know the music. Time to dance. That's no fulfilling, isn't it? <laughs> Pods. Now. Dude, I love ODSTs. They are so badass. This many years into the war? Who isn't? At least they listen. To me. And they're not gonna like what they hear. Orders are orders. Come on, Veronica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck? You call me Captain. I'll pass on that dance. But you can't show me where to sit. Now, what the hell kind of armor was she wearing? I don't know, Mickey. That's I wasn't it's looking recon, isn't it? Seriously? Well, it's gotta be close quarters. Exactly. <laughs> I read I really like this. Right the jazzy sound to it. You gonna tell us her name, Gunny? It's low it lighting. Naval intelligence. Our new boss. Oh, so check your mouths, find your chairs, and get set for a combat drop. Oh shit, he's well pissed off. The hell am I supposed to do with this inside a Covenant ship? Oh, that was nice. Wake up, Buttercup. Relax, rookie. He don't mean nothing. Besides, now's one of those times. It pays to be the strong, silent type. Was he against the wall? I think if he was sitting down, the cutscene when it came to the gameplay. Oh shit! He was in the pod. You should have had him like sort of sitting down and getting up into it. Had a bit more of a flow of a transition. Latest intel reports Covenant troops are massing the This is well cool. Pulling back? Why? I'm not gonna find out way up here. Troopers! We are green! Yeah, and very, Buck very and mean. Dare. Because Buck I remember is a, um, a Spartan, isn't he? In Halo 5? I like Buck's character. Well, I like him in that. 
I take it back. Navy got his butt kicked. Hey, Romeo, remember when I told you to shut your mouth? Yeah? Consider that a standing order. <laughs> Oh, there's loads of them. I just literally thought it was just a few of them going down. Stand by to adjust trajectory. On my mark. What did he just say? Mark. Are they all under Bucks? We're way off course. We're heading exactly where I Ooh, need to go. Uh, but we're going to miss come on. the carrier. Radiation. Covenant to set off a nuke? No. The carrier's going to jump. It's a sun space rupture. You need to. DMP. Moving power. They popped their shoes. Look at him on the oh, I really like this. Just the way that started with just detention in the room. They're foreshadowing something. And it's, if, if I immediately feel different. I don't feel like this is a gigantic space opera. Six hours after drop. I see we're like unconscious or something. This was wicked. I, now I'm really tempted to actually. I never actually got a chance to play this. So I kind of dropped. I dropped off after Halo Three. And my thing was always Master Chief's story. I loved it, and then I had to go to college and all that sort of stuff. I had to concentrate on my studies. <laughs> so I, yeah, I missed a lot of this stuff out. That's how I missed Reach out. And because I heard this was DLC, I just wasn't interested in that stuff. I'm explosive bolts to exit pod. Oh, that's how you, um, you're tracking your, yeah. Thanks to the original Halo, to a little, a little thing about me here, is the first Halo game came out on the original Xbox. I was a young kid at the time. And I did that, and it asked me if I wanted to be inverted. I didn't know what that even meant. So I just said, yeah, okay, I'm inverted. And because of that, I'm one of those inverted players now. I can only play games like this inverted uh, on a controller. Oh, dude, this looks well cool. What is that, like knife vision? No, it's not knife vision. Oh, of course, all the shields and shit. Man, I like this silencer. Uh, silenced uh, Uzi. Uh, well, oh, whatever it is, like a little mini. I'm not very good with guns. Mate, this game's well dark. Doesn't help when I've got all this lighting on, but... Oh, is that um, a dare name, wasn't it? Is that Dare's helmet? Tell us her name, Gunny. Ms. Naval Intelligence. Our new boss. So check your mouth. Find your chair. Oh shit! That helmet got. Get set for a combat drama. Dude, he's delivery on that. Get set! Man, I love it when actors do that. They just really extend their range. And you can... That... The way he said it... Oh, immediately after drop. Oh, you play... Different ODSTs. So you play Buck now, right? No, this is CCTV, isn't it? Camera doing a little dolly forward there, like that. I do something wrong because the only thing I regret about you and me not knowing you were a spook when we first met. Okay. I would have been a lot less charming. That's what I missed most about you, Buck. Well, your mouth was always a little faster than your brain. <laughs> Look, don't 
him to start about my job. Both agreed to end it. That was years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on it. Uh, details. Must have met a lot of other saps since then. Why pick me for the safari? First, you're the best soldier I know, and second, you still don't remember that night? What you asked me in the morning? I remember not getting an answer. Say again, Buck. You're breaking up. I said stay put. I'm on my way. We missed our LZ. This grid is packed with Covenant. Be careful. I appreciate the concern. So, do you not have overshield and stuff then? Oh, see, so they are. So, in this guy's game as a little playground, he's, he's missing little bits, just showing some of the gameplay. I saw your pod hit. You were one lucky SOB. See any more come down? Ah, negative. But I didn't see much of anything after that flash. Uh, but listen, some of these buildings are open. She'll be able to get inside. Flank the Covenant on the streets. I can't believe I'm how dark this looks. If that was because I'm what, looking at it on a, an OLED monitor. But black is black. This is might, way darker. Oh, Halo's very bright, isn't it? But the, the music as well. Oh, that was lucky. I thought normal UNSC Marines would lost get manhandled, really. Oh, see, I guess Buck's really good. Especially against brutes and things like that. Or like the elites at Sangili. Buck, location. Almost there. What's wrong? Multiple hostiles closing on my position. I like this. This, this has got a really cool vibe. If I don't make it. Well, hang on. I'll be right there. Too late. They spotted me. Damn it, no! Veronica! Oh mate, you better out, Buck. Talk to me! Don't move! I'm coming, you hear? Yeah, this makes me miss the, the Halo gameplay, looking at this. But yeah, the music's... That almost had like a bit of um, like electronic, but is it because it's set in New Mombasa? Like it's got that tone to it, they're keeping with the aesthetic of it? I'm here. I got you. He's not in there, mate, is she? Oh, nuts. Oh, it's, um... Whoa. Oh, what the call is it? Huragok? Hura... Oh, it's a helmet. Oh, mate, he fucking popped his head off. <laughs> the Huragok. I think they're Huragok. The engineers, they're not hostile, are they? Okay, until they die. I thought they were like a friendly race. I remember in Halo Wars 2, they, they used to protect the that? sort of certain you ever seen one before? like troops. Hey, Romeo, you got your ears on? Oh, I get it. Permission to speak, <laughs> smartass. No, I don't Oh, I like that. But it was going to grease your ass good. Just like it did the captain. Yeah, maybe. You're from Mickey, Dutch? Negative. The rookie. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. So we're popping smoke in the lady's mission? Did she ever tell you what she wanted? No. Never. Doesn't matter. Oh, well, that was nice. About now is getting my men out of this city. He did a t they did a, a, a subtext there, subtext being story within a story. He was talking about what he answered one question about the mission, but actually he was talking about something else, about the relationship. Oh, I get it. You see different bits. There's a flashback. You play that part. Oh, that music. And the silence of it, like the ambience. So obviously the boys have, and they are looking for Dare, and the rookies just sort of come up after six hours, been unconscious, come along, has to piece all, uh, glue all the pieces together of the story. 
and that's your story structure. Okay, I get it now. Uh, it's almost got like a little bit of um, detective work to it, isn't it? Oh yeah, flashback. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. Yeah, really. Yeah, okay, so you got little chapters. Yep. This is nice. I really like this story. The way they've done the narrative here. Really good. And the way they've they're filming it, uh, well, doing the animations and that. You know, they're doing got lots of camera blocking, they're doing lots of dirty framing. Now oh, look at that, like very the camera was going with the Oh look, and they dollied good in as well. Mm. I'm keeping my boots on the ground. Oh, yes, mate, he's got a little dirty spot on laser, is he? Hey, do you know what? I could easily play this. I know it doesn't look the best looking thing ever. But it's old, isn't it? That was, that was a nice little shot. Let's do this, trooper. You drive, I'll shoot. Nice. Look at the um the color palette. So the way they've color graded it is really nice just to get it that. Come on. We'll need the hog. How the fuck can he lift that up? I'll shoot stuff. I know it's a game, but you know what I mean? A, a Spartan, I can imagine lifting it up. But yeah, I, lo I love the colour palette, really pushing on the sepia. It makes your your visual narrative believable. Do you know what? I'm actually enjoying watching this gameplay. Never thought I'd actually say it. I think it's because it's in short doses. I couldn't watch a whole game like this or whatever. I want to play it myself. <laughs> we all... <laughs> what is the objective, Colonel? You know the Covenant carry that sucked away from the city? We need to secure its old LZ. Snatch a tier one asset. Oh, oh yeah, a brute chopper. Down near the Covenant LZ. Once we clear this enemy armor, we can roll across the bridge to the location. Yeah, this is this to me is Halo. You know, massive space opera, big battles. At the moment, I kind of really enjoy the the rookie stuff where it's more noir esque god that oh that's well cool that bit what that remind me of um oh shit look at that go that reminds me of um the movie forward on storm when the fucking thing came down and killed all those people that's on the channel, by the way, guys, if you want to see that. Yeah, I'm really enjoying all this, getting all back into Halo stuff, all the stuff that I missed. Great. Thank you guys for the recommendations. Oh, mate, as I was say, <laughs> clearing shit with that. It's a little bit unbelievable, uh, but this Lord, it's a game, isn't it? I didn't train to be a pilot. Tell me I don't have any more flying to do today. <laughs> nice. See the way the camera's pointed up at him then? He's still really powerful. So... I see. Was that a yes or a no? Okay, so he's the... Um, the funny one, is it? Yeah, he's so he's the comedy value to it, isn't he? It's interesting, they've all got their own characters, like character arcs. Yeah, like the music, the piano. Oh, look at that, look, the lighting. This is visually gorgeous, as in the cinematography. Really, really nice. Like even the music, as I've been talking about the music, like there's hardly any music now. It's mainly ambience with a, with like those electric tones, or the soundscaping. Scattered, dead. I don't know. That's too bad. We're gonna need all the 
men we can get. Okay. Mickey. 90 minutes after drop. So they've all, they literally have been all, oh, other than the two of Buck and the other guy, I can't remember his name, they're together now, aren't they? But everyone else is really been separated. Do you know what? I think what I've seen so far, this would hey, would be a really good at? little uh, movie. Take a guess, genius. Or maybe a web series, maybe? Each week, or you cover one of these guys? Son of a gun! One limp? Get your ass out of the street! That was a beautiful shot. See the way the camera's looking up at him? Still what look powerful. Way? Just to remind you, this character's not weak. Even though he's been thrown about all over the place, the camera was pointed up at him. It gave him power state in the power status on screen. Take that, you bastards. Boom. I think I might have to play this one. Because I really like the that noirness of it. And in fact, it's on PC as well. And you get it in Game Pass now, can't you? Which I have. Oh, look at this player. Is he injured? Is this why it's red? Or is that just a red aesthetic across the screen? Oh, no, no, he was injured. Like, look at it. Look, it's dusk, isn't it? A lovely lighting. Oh, no. Maybe it's not dusk. Oh, it's the uh, the atmosphere. It's funny. I should be looking at all the action on the screen. All I'm looking at is the lighting. That's the uh, cinematographer in me. Yeah, because they've got all the... It's basically diffusing all the light. That's why you're able to see all the light particles. As in the god rays and things like that. It's all about atmosphere. Okay, the boys are getting together. The band's getting back together. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting... Uh, going back to the old days now with the Halo 3 soundtrack. Do you remember the music? Terrific. With these guys, on, we got ammo and weapons on the high ground. Move it on, has the music sounds like Halo Three. Halo? It's got variations well, of it. Hold your hand right but when now, we're the rookie, well, you're a ball of laughs. It's very, oh, it's very Everyone delicate because it has that, and it's darker, that noir-esque vibe to it. I wonder if they did that not to piss off people. As in fans, they want a bit of Halo, but they also want to in interject. Inject a little something new. And that's the noirness of it. Mate, if you were an ODST and you had all this shit dropping at you, you'd be like, I need you'd be like, I'm fucking dead. We got any heavy weapons for that raid? Hit that base with all the charge plasma. Stick it with grenades. Wake up and smell the death. But yeah, there's like it's almost like a delicacy to it, isn't it, with them? Because they don't have overshoot. I don't know if they have overshoot. It doesn't look like it. This bloke's self. Oh shit! One of those powerful power shots can deactivate. Is it a wraith? Some of you guys have asked me to stream some of this stuff. I'm not stream it because I don't do streaming, but recall myself playing this stuff. And it's something that I've been thinking about video-wise. Would you guys be interested? You heard from Gunny? No. I like that. That's nice. Romeo, neither. Well, I guess it's just you and me. My vote. Hold up. Wait for backup. Thank God. Does one of you know how to use explosives? <laughs> Your vote. Just got overruled. Oh. <laughs> like the camera's going up now. We're pedestalling up. Going on to a different part of the story. I'm oh, interested. They still pulled focus as well on that.
you know I mean? Look, look at the way the colouring is. Hello guys, Future Kai here. As you can see, my face is moving, but with different words coming out. And the reason being is my microphone occasionally has decided to stop working because this is a piece of shit, which I am in the process of changing. So apologies for that. All I'm asking here is, do you play as the rookie in between each chapter? As in, do you have to fight different enemy units? Or is it you go from section A, have a cutscene, go to section B, have a cutscene? So yeah, if you guys can tell me in the comment section, do you fight more enemies? Arm the other and pull back to me. Come on, tough guy, we gotta blow this bridge. So here, what I'm talking about is the overexposed sky, and look how bright and harsh it is on the back of the characters. It just looks very cinematic. And there's some of these cutscenes within this game that are just visually stunning, and again, it pushes on that cinematicness. When I played Halo, I was never really a sniper. I was always a, um, I was always like really close and jump, you know, get in, hit them. I've always been like that. Always been that one of those sort of players. Not really a sniper person. No, a gunnery sergeant, Buck. Sure do. Patching him through. Glad you boys are safe and sound. And likewise, Gunny. You need a pickup. What was your offering? We're in the police HQ. Here I'm talking about the camera motion and how it looks, and it gives you that body cam vibe. It feels like a military operation. Oh, okay, that was cool. I like that. Yeah, this is lovely. I, ri I love this rookie stuff. But just this low mood. Like, look at the shadows. Because it's all backlit. What's that? Because he doesn't speak, I guess it draws you in more as a as a playable character because it becomes you, doesn't it? Is that a bit of a sniper. <laughs> We're in the police HQ. Can you take us there? Affirmative. All right. All right. You two up top. Hey, these rookies work all this shit out just by looking at certain clothes. Bruce Wayne. Clear? Yeah, we're good. Hey, rookie, you out there? See the way that did that then? The, spawn uh, the light wrecked off his helmet. Give it up, Gunny. Even if he ain't dead, he's lost in that soup. Our comms can't cut through that. I'll give up, huh? What Look at the way they're filming them. Just saying. It's camera placement. <laughs> You're a piece of work, Romeo. Welcome aboard, ladies. First stop anywhere but here. Even though they're weaker as humans, because they're uh, a protagonist. Watch out! Mickey Duck! Status! Alive or dead, we're pulling them out. The camera looking up at them. You hear me? Make some noise. I get your back. Yeah, but the camera looking up Back at them, it gives them power status on screen. What about all those and every time they shoot the camera down at me, it makes them look weaker. But however, I've noticed that they mainly do it on establishing shots as to tell you where they are. Such a tall building. I'm really digging all these stairs. Do you ever get tired of bitching, Romeo? You ever get tired of busting my balls? Point taken. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that was bad. You should pop, pop. That did it! Shoot and scoot! Why did he reload after one? Surely he would have been bang, bang, bang right? Instead of fanning about with um, one of those shields. Hey, why is he not using these grenades? Well, they're all clustered together. I love a grenade. And he had plasma. It 
is it after watching Reach as well with this? I think to me that these are like fantastic Halo pieces that I've missed out on. Stay put, Dutch. We'll come to you. Grab some ammo. Like stories that, that you know they're not the boy, they're not the Master Chief, but really powerful stories in their own way. Reach was amazing from what I saw when I covered it on the channel. But this is different, I really like this. Oh mate, back then Bungie knew what they were doing, didn't they? Banshees! Let's get the hell off this thing! A few of you guys have asked me to cover Destiny. I've never played Destiny. But I know it was done by the same chaps on it. A bungee. What's our situation? Yeah, look at this lovely lighting. Lost the pilot on impact. Rest Gives you character. Okay. And because this game is not what I've long, seen primarily man. about shadows, it's really, it fits the visual aesthetic of it, the visual narrative being that it is shot end of day. You know, dusk. Because that's why if you're a drone pilot, you want to shoot then as well because you get really long shadows. You get Look at these shadows. Look at the texture. That's what we look for. Also, your lighting softer as well. So we've got a close-up of any of the characters. The lighting is softer because it is filmed at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. When the sun's really up high, you get shorter shadows and the harsh is lighter unless you defuse it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? You are playing in the shadow. In this. I thought we killed one of the boys then. Oh! Oh no, mate. Is that. Oh, mate, is that bug? He's a fucking beast. Well done, boys. Get this thing <laughs> off of me. Oh, I like that. I'm guessing that's not a fatal wound on Romeo, is it? How bad? Oh. Not good. Music told me it was We're bad. Get you out of here. Not by air weapon. The reason why I said I don't think it was bad right. is because they had that little comedy moment ah. and they left him to Go it. Way. I guess it just shows you how bad ass they are. And they go back to the CCTV thing again. It's nice. <clears throat> I'm guessing Dare is still alive because we don't know what the mission was. There's no way they're going to drop that sort of information at the beginning, as in foreshadowing it, and never tell us what the, the outcome is, unless they can find out like some data pad or a body or something. We can find out what the information is. I wonder what the mission was, what this, this secret is. Not that she couldn't even tell Buck. Not good. <clears throat> We're gonna get you out of here. What is that? Is that biofoam? Yeah, I remember some bits of Halo lore, the biofoam, which is like expanding foam for your body for wounds. <clears throat> now we're back to Buck. We're almost there. <laughs> Put me down. Put me down for a sec. Dutch, medkit. What's wrong with him? He's got a punctured lung. Can't breathe. Better? Trains ran underground up to the old city. We're gonna find one of the tunnels. Walk on out of here. All right. You're gonna carry me all the way, sweetheart. Was planning on it. 
But now that you're feeling better. Oh, look at the framing. It's dirty framing leading your eyes to each character. I love that. It's a fucking game at the end of the day. Yet they keep the cinematography, the movie es essence of it going. I love all these little seeds that they're planting. Bop, bop, bop. And he has to piece all, all this together. This is fantastic. This is why ODST uh, has a proper go, isn't they? This means we're screwed, right? Not yet. See where the camera did a little dolly forward then as he was looking up. Wait here. The proper thread we'll of storytelling. It's landing. Now's our chance. Mickey, you're with me. <laughs> Gunny, I can fly a pelican, but a phantom? It's been years since I even ran a simulation. Well, let's see what you remember, Trooper. Move! Oh, so they do have a little bit of over shield or something. Look out for the turret! <laughs> Gunny, more of those floating squids. Should we smoke them? He's low. Between us and that phantom. Here comes our gigantic halo space opera -ness. Banshees, coming through the tunnel. That's the way we're headed. Take them out. Oh, it's obviously, he, I just said it clicked then. It sounds like it's some sort of night vision that he's got. See, it outlines everything, doesn't it? it? Must be really dark, this game. Ain't yeah, gonna blow that up. Oh, shit, he's... <laughs> that character is obviously the um, the one that said that is obviously the the silly one. I mean, you have your, they're very set characters, don't they? They've got the one that doesn't really believe in team. Well, he does believe in teamwork, but he sounds like he's out for himself while I'm alive. You've got the leader that wants to look after everyone. You've got the one that brings a comedy value to him, and then you've got one that's a bit silly. They're very good at character archetypes, and when you merge them together, they all stand out on their own. They're not just like a blend. Doors open. I'll go first. Like even Dare, when we saw her, like she had um, her own character. See if I can find a workaround inside the tunnel. Yeah, it really is dark. Look at that. On my screen, I can, can't see hardly any of it. It is that dark. This is, and this is, again, one of the reasons why I picked up an OLED, because you really can get those inky blacks. And plus, I color grade footage. So that makes sense. I haven't seen. I was just about to say I haven't seen many elites, but there's just the part where the Covenant were like, "We're not using Sangili anymore." So I know that happened a little bit. I can't bloody remember now. But I'm guessing not, because I'm not hardly seen any. Oh mate! Mate, this guy's getting spanked. Man, you want to be constantly moving. <laughs> I 
I, I just had a flashback when I heard that grunt. He used to shoot him in the head. There used to be a skull and all... Um, like confetti would come out and all the children's... Yay! I remember that. Oh! I didn't know they could... Um, go invisible. Did you really need to have all that gameplay in it just then? For the guy that edited this? But did, did it... You know, is it an important part? Troopers, I got bad news. Oh, what? You really like this bit. I get it. Scarab, right by our exit. Uh, this is the best mission ever. You've given a gun. Oh! Damn. I couldn't even see it. It was only until it fired I saw it. Oh, look at that sky. They take that scarab down, do they? Mate, bucking these boys are fucking crazy, aren't they? Ooh. Like, surely that scout would have shot down their, um... That big thing. What's it called? The Phantom? Or whatever, that, that ship that they were piloting. Oh, is that where the Hurag Hura Hura Gok come from? Little pods like that? Oh, okay, that was cool. Oh, I like that. See the way they use a the different colouring lighting to really draw your eye in it? And really make it look... Oh, look at that! The fact that some parts of this is beautiful. We've messed this up. It's okay? cold. Just glad we didn't go with your first plan. Look at those tunnels. I totally forgot. The ones that aren't flooded, Look at that. probably. Packed with buggers. Hell, I wouldn't go down there even if you ordered me to. Come on, Veronica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck? Call me Captain. Mickey, turn around. Find a safe place to set us down. What? Why? I lost something. Now I know where to find her. Nice. It's getting to that really end of day now, isn't it? So this is where the rookie's sort of waking up, right? Looking at the way the sun is. In that piano. It's almost like he has his own light motif. A light motif is a reoccurring theme. Like Harry Anyone Potter and things like that. In Jaws, Dare. when you see the character. Happens. Whoa. That made my eyes go a bit trippy then. I get to see the rookie do some stuff now, yeah? Or maybe him interacting with the others. That'd be quite nice. I've only seen the one scene. They've got me cornered. I'm low on ammo. You can feel me. I'm on sub level nine. Use station. We have it trapped. Do it, Virgil, now! Construction ahead. Expect delays. I'm gonna die, you hear me? <laughs> Is that the other ODSTs talking? I'd have ran in there and gone, knocked him, and then blow it up. Well, he would blow it up from the needles. 
as I said, that's sort of how I play these games, or I used to play these games. <laughs> Thanks, Trooper. They almost had me. Been trying to get down to the next level, checking my team, but this stack is locked down tight. That's not the copper familiar, is it? Welcome. Access granted. Huh. Guess you have the magic touch. Buggers! Oh Look shit. Let me jump a little bit then. I forgot about that that insect from the cover. Warning, hitchhikers may be escaped convicts. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Son of a bitch. So my god, don't want to tell me? That's alright. Because he doesn't talk, does he? Right. Well, I'm guessing he doesn't. From I haven't heard him speak You're yet. Going down to level nine too. Huh. Guess I could use some backup. Welcome. Access granted. Why is he going down Go to level nine? Can he? Can he hear Dez? Radio. Ooh. I thought there was interference. Buggers, down on your level. If they if the other ODSTs are not there, crime doesn't pay. Man, that was well dramatic. <laughs> okay, right. So what I was saying is, I can. This is what I can see here. Told you more about this mission. Are we going to find out? I reckon the Buck and the boys are going to save these two. Something's going to happen. They're going to be like near death situation. Last minute, I know where to find her. Boom. It's you. I thought. Never mind. What was your name again? Inside now. Oh, that was nice. Put us in the room and talk then. I think she backhandedly complimented um, him on his killing spree then. Some idiots blew the building at the top of the shaft. Woke the whole hive. Some idiots. Down there? <laughs> that's the superintendent. The AI that runs every system in the city. My mission, our mission, is to secure the superintendent's data. Problem is, there's only one way in from here. Right through the hive. It would have been suicide to go alone, and I was hoping for more backup. But I guess you're it. All right, okay. You've been solo since we dropped. Fighting on the surface? Unless you spent all night hiding in your pod, you must know your stuff. Oh, look at that power status. Show See me. that on screen? Cam dolling forward, looking up at him, just as she was talking then. You must know your stuff. And he's like... Here, trooper, through the door. We'll have to jump. Oh, the fuck he didn't break his legs. <laughs> Trooper, through here. Oh, this the guy playing is obviously knows where he's going, Down doesn't he? An elevator. Come to me. <laughs> it's really strange. He's there before her. She's taking all the credit. Won't be long before they smash through that door. Let's take them out now. Yeah, it's really dark, isn't it? I love it. By the prophets, you will pay for your insolence. Oh, if he... so, he throws a grenade at him and it bounces off because he's got an overshield on. Is that right? How about you, bastard? Oh, that music. It's almost got a bit of a riser to it. I can hear it. You do know your stuff. With those little electronic tones in there as well. That's when you know you've got a really good hybrid with your music. You've got music and you've got sound effects and they 
they merge together. So as I say, it becomes more of a hybrid. You can't tell what is music and you can't tell what sound effects. It's nice. Check those corners, people. Nice little establishing shot. That's very cinematic, starting up in the corner and the camera completely tracking over behind them. Again, it went below their waistline, giving them power, but also directing you right up to the middle there. Really nice. This they, it's bungee team, they do know how to do their um their cinematics, don't they? Like as in with the camera placement, that is. Don't shoot. Is that an engineer? Or have a gook. Yeah. We've seen them before on other ops, but we've never gotten this close. Who's always fucking them. shooting them? They're prisoners or slaves. Either way, they don't like the Covenant any more than we do. I spotted this one in the tunnels. Watched it access comm lines, security cameras, traffic controls, you name it. Eventually it hold up here. Is this going to be our pet character, is it? Look at that lighting, where that streak of light's coming through. It's really dramatic. Oni calls them engineers. Believes they're some sort of biological supercomputers. If I'm right, this one has taken the superintendent's data and combined it with its own. Everything we want to know about the Covenant. What they're looking for under the city is right in here. So we have got a pet character. When I say a pet character, I mean it's something that you can, you get attached to very quickly because you see it as a pet. And then when they die, or they sacrifice them, or something happens, you just, you're just an emotional wreck. It's funny how we can. Uh... Oh, is that? Buck. Veronica, where the hell are you? Data center, but we're coming out. We? No time to explain, but do not. I repeat, do not shoot anything pink. Those brutes are here for the engineer. They'll kill it if they get the chance. You, stay behind me, okay? Did he glow? Did he pulsate for say yes? Do you see that? The way the camera dollied in then, it dollied in as she said that because it was a powerful moment. You'll find that in films or the anything, or we do, in commercials, whatever. Long in a firefight. If something's important, like that's a powerful line, we dolly the camera in because it's powerful. Take it makes you draw in on the character. Back. You're listening as well. And that's how you do it. They're popping him when he's down. <laughs> Is that a brute? Was it a brute cannon? Is that what it used to be called? Oh, is that the insects? Feel free to fill me in whatever. Not now, Buck. Strong Doors locked. Damn. Don't worry. We have a key. <laughs> what are you kidding? I mean, I'm, I've seen hundreds of these things today. From camera Why left. This, so important? this engineer knows what the Covenant's after. If I could safely capture more of them, I would. What they know could win the war. Oh. You haven't killed any of them, have you? No. <laughs> well, maybe one or two. Nice work. How was I supposed to know? It's got that, that proper married couple vibe as well. It brings almost, again, another different a different Elevate. dynamic to the story. It's funny, as a kid like playing this, I don't think I would have really appreciated that. Like, I'd have found it funny, but now I'm a married guy. And you backtracking, no, I haven't done that. Yet yeah, you have. This makes it, I find it more funny now. 
thing stinks. Kind of reminds me of like. <laughs> what was that for? Abandoning the mission. What mission? You dropped off the grid. My squad was scattered. <clears throat> There. Thanks for coming back for me. For coming back. Yeah. Oh, their teeth look oh, fucked up, didn't they? And these these old. Thank you. <clears throat> you did good, rookie. No doubt. These games. We're not out of this yet. And also, like the no eyelids. Um, I oh, got eyelids, sorry, but the eyelashes. She's right, but it just looks a bit odd. Captain, I think I they should. When they were kissing there, I think there should have been quite a funny little scene. If, or they the flipped the camera 180 and they had the rookie and the the engineer look at each other like, mm, we're like, like third wheels. But they do want to weaken the moment between, you know, thanks for coming back for me. That, that was quite pa powerful, wasn't it? Reloading. So the good thing is for Buck's character now, how has. You know, lead in his pencil, should we say? He's got momentum now. That kiss would have been enough Captain, to do that. Move. Where are we going exactly? Waterfront Highway. Fastest way out of the city. Like, he's still got a chip on his shoulder, but you can see it's gradually Can't sort of being filed out. Faster? All the shooting, it's frightened. Want me to give it a little push? What do you think? Just trying to help. So that, again, it's just buck on its own, isn't he? Where's the others? We'll need the alien to power on the switch. See, he went off to... Oh, he went off there. What, they all stay? No, he said, you come with me, didn't he? I don't know. I don't really care, really. Just enjoying okay. this. We're all set. Hit it, rookie. Nice. I was talking about the camera then. The elevator went up, but the camera went down. It makes the elevator look like it's going faster. <sighs> look at that. When did this happen? They started showing up right before I went underground. And you waited until now to tell me that. Oh, I'm sorry. I was a little busy making sure perfume over here didn't take <laughs> around and blow us all up. Eddie Buck, <laughs> always thinking with his gun. You haven't changed one bit. Me? What about you? Oh, dear. oh, so full of big only secrets. Couldn't even give a guy a yes or no answer. That's not fair. Oh, you got that right. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah? Well, here I am. We need to move now. Were you too busy to plan our exit? I stole a phantom. Yes, thank you. I hid it in the shipyards down the highway. But I only have room for two. Look how cinematic it looks. Because of the backlighting. Where did it go? Oh, he's cool, isn't he? He's a nice little character. And try to keep up. Who who is she? Who does her voice? You ever fall for a woman? Make sure she's got balls. Yeah, I agree with that. Take the wheel, rookie. Go have someone that pushes you, yeah? That's my advice. We got company. Hey, uh, Captain? Pick a lane. It's a little crowded in here. The engineer's doing something with the control circuits. Hey, watch where you put that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm doing the best I can. Just stay out of our way. Covenant must have shut these doors. Give the engineer a second to override the lock. Why's that got an arrow in it? Oh. I thought you had to go in it. I remember playing a game, um, a level like this, years ago, where you had to be on quad bikes. And you had to have four of you, and you had to do something. And we were trying to get a helmet or something. Fed was like, I need your help. And, that's, and so we just did that for hours, trying to... I think it was to get like a flaming recon helmet or something like that. Or just get a recon helmet. 
you guys have to let me know what was that game is that Halo 3 or or was I playing this but it just I remember it being a highway like this Oh shit, look at that in the background. No, they're gonna burn this city and then blast the whole planet. Coming in faster. It's just like rates all over again. Made it out of there. Make it out of here. I love that, the fact that they're mentioning reach. Right. Like if you like if you know what reach okay. is, it carries so much more weight to it. But if you don't, it's like okay, it's a passing moment. You're coming to us. But being that we've just covered loads of reach, it, 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 this is this is perfect. Such a good game to cover after that one. We're gonna keep rolling as far as we can. Get airborne. Oh, he's on his fucking ship. I mean, on tanks. Whatever you do, they clear that carry. I'm Throwing too fast. I can't stop. Talk to me. I say, can't you shoot that thing? Asset. It's all right. Through the alien, what about you? Okay. This garbage truck is having Did she get hurt then? Take the next off ramp. I see a building north side of the highway. We'll hold up there. Wait for you back. So we gotta go, is it? Out of the vehicle, trooper. Let's go. Veronica, wait here. Rookie, let's secure that building. You see how, like when the night time was, that very heavy dusk, it had such a beautiful aesthetic to it. All the just all the textures look nice. Everything looks so much nicer because you're using the low key lighting to. It just looks more cinematic. It's just you're not seeing all the imperfections. But now we're in the daylight. Sunrise is coming up. You're starting to see a lot more. Pretty sky. Look at that. Look, the sky is beautifully split in half. But you can see all the other bits that don't look as pleasing on the eye. Yes, ma'am. Oh, fuck, what you climb up that for? <laughs> Something like the gaming glitches that I've seen him. Oh, dude. Not that that's a glitch, but it just made me laugh. I was like, what the fuck is you climbing over that for? Oh, they killed some hunters. Oh, God, the amount of brutes. Can you imagine if that was real, like... You'd be like, oh my god, here we go! See, the music's changed now. This, to me, sounds like... Halo music now. Oh no, it's still got a little bit of, um... It's got a, a drone in there, like... Dun, 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 dun. Like they're still keeping with the the ODST soundtrack that they've made. That sky is beautiful. Look at that. And I love the way that they, they really do half it. Oh, he cut it off. That thing's safe? Long as it don't get hit. Dude, oh my god. Oh yeah, he's shitting himself. Come, come. Come on. Damn it. Move. Go behind it and push it, right? Oh, nuts. <laughs> These characters. It's like you see it when like people trying to save horses, like quick get it on. What can I say? 
was a hell of a night. Oh my god, look at that! Again, look at the low lighting of it on the left, and then you've got the, the light in the back. And because it is lit from behind, it looks more cinematic, and you've got those beautiful oranges, and then the blue in the shadows, it just gives it that look. Easy does it. Mate, this guy's been for the ringer, isn't he? We went through hell for that? Give him some meds, would you? It's important. It knows things. Heck, honey. I wasn't talking about the aliens. <laughs> Mickey, I'm sending you a very special co-pilot. Oh, come on! I don't want one of those things in here! It won't bite, and unlike you, it knows what to tell those cruisers to keep them off our tail. I think they're too busy to care. Oh, the delicacy of it. Looks like they dun, found dun, what they're dun, looking dun. for. Of course, because Halo 3 is the arc. Win this war? Then ask me that again. Nice. Is that how it ends, yeah? Yeah, there is. Oh, epilogue. Lord Hood may have given you clearance, but it was my op and it's my interrogation. We only captured one. It's very delicate. Don't worry. I know what the aliens like. It has access to the Covenant battle net? Limited, but yes. We're not entirely sure how it manages a remote connection to the... What? Whoa, whoa, stand down, stand down! Sergeant Major, please. It's extremely flammable. Roots. The bastards who put bombs on your buddies and killed millions of my people. They're digging a mighty big hole. You're gonna tell me exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> He's so cool. You're gonna help me stop them. I love it. I really like that bit. That was so good. That was really, really good. That bit was so good, it actually brought a little bit of water to my eyes. It's stuff like that, that it's the mixture of nostalgia mixed with just how good the storytelling is. So my final thoughts on it, what did I think? I absolutely loved it. I loved the aesthetic of it, the cinematography, the story, everything about that made me fall in love with Halo again. I've, I know we've already covered Reach and Halo 2 and all that, and I've already expressed how much I love Halo. But this was new to me, okay? This was a brand new adventure that I never got the chance to play. And I loved it. It was new characters. And it, what I really enjoyed about it, it was the delicacy of it. It felt like, sometimes it felt like a space opera, as I mentioned with Halo, and that's what you're paying for. You know, you're playing that game for that experience. But I really liked the, the delicate parts. They were my favorite bits. The detective work, the low lighting, the cinematography. Oh, the cinematography on it and, you, and utilizing the shadows was one of my favorite things on this. I, I really enjoyed that. And because of that, now this has probably become my top game that I wanna play. And I might record myself playing a little bit of it and put it up on, on YouTube. I don't know yet. I know you guys have been asking me for that, but it's something that, you know, it's a territory that I haven't really thought about going into. But if I do, I'll upload it and you guys will have to let me know if you enjoyed it or not. So as a filmmaker looking at this and looking at the story structure and everything like that, what I really liked is the character development. I love the fact that you've got the rookie who's meant to be like you, the silent type. One of my favorite things about that is the first time we see the rookie, he's asleep, you know, with his legs crossed, arms folded, whatever it is. And then the very final shot where Johnson was, he was asleep in the background again. That character started or ended how he started. And I love it when characters do that. 
that is a full circle experience with your storytelling. And yeah, I absolutely love that. It's one of my favourite parts about it. A little, a little nod, and it wasn't even a main thing. It was just there in the background, because obviously it was all about Johnson, wasn't it, at the end. The other characters all had their own development. I really enjoyed seeing that. And as I was mentioning when watching it, it was the character archetypes that you get. You've got the comedy value. You've got the silly one that you kind of, you know, you, you have fun with. You've also got Buck, who is the serious character. And there's obviously loads of subtext there, loads of story within a story there. And, you know, when they ask him a question, he'll answer it, but he means two things. Oh, which one does he mean? I love writing like that. Bungie were like geniuses when it came to that. And, and this is DLC, right? So as a DLC experience, I would have been, I don't know how much it was at the time, but I would have been blown away by that. I would have been very, I'd have been a happy Halo boy, yeah? The cinematography for me was the best thing about it. That low-key lighting, okay? Low-key lighting and using the shadows to, to tell you where to look. That's why it almost had that believable feel to it, which I thought you don't really get that with other Halo games because you're a Spartan and you feel like a Spartan with this because to emphasize the delicacy of your character how fragile you are everything around you was covered in shadow everything worked together it came together as a massive ensemble and I love that even the music itself you had that hybrid of sound effects and music together and the piano the way the piano plucked to, to tell you your character those light motifs I was talking about yeah, it was stunning. I really enjoyed it. And as a storyteller, what I would love to see this is someone capture this and put that as a film, you know, because it has it was perfectly written, wasn't it? Obviously, you'd adapt it a little bit more for movie or TV, whatever it may be, or episodic, especially when it comes to webisodes. You could totally play this off because each character, isn't that? I think that's what Band of Brothers was like. I've heard that it was like it was each episode played a different character within the, uh, like the group itself. You see the backstory. But what I liked about this is it the story structure itself was perfect, really. You've got your character who's piecing all the pieces of the puzzle together, a bit like I do when I watch all these cinematics and I don't know the story and I'm trying to piece it together. It's something exciting about that. But you played each character, you got to know them, and they all had different elements that they brought together because you became attached to those characters. When they did come together, as the band got back together, it made it more dramatic. It made you, you know, feel for them oh i don't want him to die i hope he's going to be okay and i actually one of the things i'm really glad about this is we didn't get a character death and normally with something like this you'd normally have a character that dies you have the the fallen hero and i'm really glad actually that they didn't have that you had a, almost a near death experience but you didn't get an actual death and i don't feel like you needed it because i know johnson is a big death in the next one i remember that that shit hit me hard when i was a kid and i'm really interested to cover halo 3 again now now i have filmmaking knowledge and I'd now do this as a career and bear in mind I've not seen Halo Fifi donkeys he is I'm interested to see how that's going to hit me this time around but go back to my point I'm really glad they didn't kill off a character I don't I didn't think you needed to and and I really enjoyed that the fact that they didn't but if you have any questions regarding filmmaking or you're just genuinely interested and want to know what they did in that and I didn't answer it during the video or in this bit here then please ask away because I'm always happy to talk filmmaking shop with you guys out of time